Hello guys, today I'm gonna have some fun with a little 3 inch. And I believe my pids are completely wrong. Forgot to change them. Not a big deal, I'm flying very, very slow. My goal here is to fly 12 minutes. I'm flying some 3028 wing denser gem fan props on some 1404. 6,500 kV motors. I'm using crossfire. Crossfire. <laughs> Sorry. Set at 200 milliwatt. I'm very new to crossfire, so uh, this is my first two flight with it. The VTX is a Nano 32 set at 400 milliwatt, and um, the setup I have here is basically um, so basically I'm working on some cinematic little very micro drone under 20 materials, and I'm waiting for some parts to come because I broke two of my. Um, Four three thousand eight hundred fifty kV right. motors. Signal low. Recall Superman from Airblade. Two and, um, I broke them because my quad felt in um, in a lake, in a little river. I fell safe. The free sky. So that's why I'm using now uh, Crossfire. And while I'm waiting to, because the, the motors are getting manufactured right now, and um, I decide to build it, all take all the components and just assemble it, but without the, the proper motors. And had them, I had those motors laying around, and I. And I said, okay, 6,500 kV, that's a lot, a lot of um, kV. It's probably going to be not efficient. And to my surprise, they are extremely efficient. And I got 12 minutes flying 3 inch 3044 from Worker X. So. But there, we'll see how the gem plan can keep up. And I'm flying very, very, very slow. But it's also on the 3S, 850 milliamp. And yes, I'm flying slow because that's the whole point why I want to see how long I can fly with my 3850 kV motors I was flying 10 minutes with a GoPro with a 230 gram watch minutes so it was really heavy but I was flying 10 minutes it's so if, if when I get those motors I will put them on this build and see how long I, I can fly Also, to be noticed, I'm using a um, Foxeer Predator B4, one of the latest ones. Like I said in my last video, I wanted a 14 by 14 under 5 gram, but I bought like the 19 by 19 because they have the Predator Micro and Nano. And I screwed up when I ordered because they posted on, on Instagram saying that they posted some pictures and I thought, oh, it's it's available, so I went to buy it. And um, 
they made the mistakes. And they told me, well, ship it back. Okay, great. But we need tracking. So $58 Canadian to ship it back. And and like $12 with no tracking. So I said, okay, I'll keep it. I'll give it a try. And I'll be fully honest, it's not that bad. It's actually good. The image quality is, is good. I've changed the setting uh, following RC Attic. He has he did a review because the stock setting of that camera are really not that great. The really blue. So I I've, I've, signal no. So I did follow his um, his setting, and it, it's oop, our lines. It's 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 great. I I, I like it. My goal is to see branches for my city wall because I would like to go Six minutes. deeper in the forest. And someone will correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this is more than 800 TVL. 1000 I think. And I'm used to, I'm used to flying, uh, oops, a branch. I'm used to flying, uh, 800 all the time. I've been flying like the same run cam for quite a few years. There was a lot of frog in that pond. So many frogs. It's insane. My kid loves to go and find the frog and catch them. I don't have the current consumption, I didn't put it on the USD. That's something I forgot. But as you can see in the bottom left, there's 1615, that's the throttle position, which is really, really low. Oh, there's a. Oh, that's the male guy, I think. RF, signal low. Yeah. So. Yeah, the PIDs are really for my snoot. I didn't play too much. I did try some vibrates on this setup, and I really need to change the PIDs. By the default PIDs on this are really, really bad. It shakes. It's really crazy. And that's a 1.8 millimeter lens. It takes a while to get used to it. To be honest, it takes a lot. So I might, for my snoop, I might change that to a 1.1. That's what I've been playing for so many years, so this is really tricky. And the, um, it's a heavy camera. That's why I wanted the 14 by 14 because they are under 5 grams, like 4.9 grams. And before I buy it, I will wait until there's more review, and I will probably maybe get a run cam nano or two. What I was interested about the box here was uh, the fact that you can plug them on on 6s on the lipo directly. The run cam is only five volts. I wanted to remove the load of the regulator to consume. You have to move the, the, the electronic the current load on the, the 5 volt. Because I believe that at that TBS BTX 32 at 100 milliwatt consumes uh, at least 350 to 100 milliwatt. So if I add another camera to consume, it's 100 milliwatt. So I think it, it's not the end of the world. What really matters is I want to keep the weight down. And 
with if I, with with these motors, if I start ripping and pushing it, it is fun, right? But those batteries are so not going for this. I mean, those these are like I have some tattoos. I have some better FPV, and they are not designed for high current draw. It, so the battery life is is shorter, but it's still not that bad. I didn't really fully tested a full flight because I was like picking and doing other things and taking a break, testing the motor and stuff like that. 11 minutes. So 3.6 volt at So that's good. I'll, I'll be. I'll come back home slowly because if you look at the voltage, you will see that when it's at around 3.5, it's gonna go down really quick. You can hear the keys are really high. You can hear it's not really well tuned. Okay, I'm gonna try something, okay? Yeesh. Yeah. 12 minutes. Something's touching. Okay. So you see the voltage? It's gonna go down really quick. Okay, I had a branch in the props. It's really bad. Okay, right there. Twelve forty two. Twelve forty two. 12 minutes 42 seconds, not bad. And the pids are off, I don't think that will increase that much. So just to give you an idea, the 3028 gem fan, this guy 12 minutes 42, and the Rotor X 3044 actually get the same same type thing. So 3044 are really pushing. And all these guys too. So that's it. This is fun. So I can't wait to get these other motors and I'll make probably another video. I'll probably fly really soon for much longer. 14 minutes, let's see. So uh, let me know what you think about this video or this, uh, this style of video because I've, I've done that a few years ago. Like two years ago. Where I was filming myself and flying. But I wasn't that good. So, uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll uh, keep experimenting. I have so many cool stuff coming up with GoPros. I just bought a Hero 6 on eBay. I'm going to take it apart and I'm going to really make it lightweight to put it on something very similar. Get some duck and do more cinematic. I have a few tricks up my sleeve, so I put that Osmo pocket too. So, yeah. Thank you very much. Keep flying.